Hi guys, today we're going to be working on this chevron French tip, and I like the way this one turned out a lot more than the last French tip water marble that I tried out, so if you'd like to see how I did this one, just stay tuned. So before you start marbling, you're going to want to get your nails prepped, and today I'm just using scotch tape. I don't really have any method for deciding what kind of tape I use, it's kind of whatever is handy at the moment. And rather than just ripping it off on the dispenser, I used a scissors to get a clean edge. I'm just going to line up the tip with the bottom of the smile line on my nail and in the middle. And then just smooth down all the edges so that there aren't any gaps. Then with whatever's left extra, I'm just going to take the scissors and cut that off and then you can use the rest of that piece for the next nail. Then I'm also going to apply tape around the edges to protect the sides of my nails. This will do well enough to protect the cuticle and then also paint the tips white and then we'll move on to the bullseye. All the colors that I'm using are finger paints. The green is called Ball Gown Glamour. The blue is Queen for a Night, and the purple is Dance Till Dawn. And these are all from the Masquerade Affair collection. Once the bullseye is complete, I'm gonna draw up to the top and then down to the bottom in preparation to draw in some chevrons. And that's just going to be a stroke from one side, then to the other, and then repeat that through the whole cup. And I'm keeping my lines fairly close together so that the stripes in the pattern are a little bit thinner since this is all to go on the tip of my nail. And I'm just using a very light touch. These polishes aren't exactly drying fast, but they're just kind of almost sticky in the water and pulling more than I'd prefer, but I really like how they go together. So you just have to learn how to work with the different quirks of different polishes. So I'm going to be dipping my three middle nails together. They're all prepped and with tape and white polish. Just line them up into the design and then dip in. <laughs> With my orange stick, I'm just going to clean up any excess polish left on the top. You don't want that to stick on top of your design. And once the surface is all clear, I'm going to go ahead and slowly pull out. And there you can see the water marble. You can actually get an idea of what it would look like if you were doing it on your entire nail. But since I'm just doing my tips, I'm going to move on to removing the tape. Once you've marbled your nails, go ahead and cut the underside of the tape. You want to carefully pull the tape off, peel it on the sides and the center, and you reveal your French tip. So this is another one that I'm doing each hand at a time. And I'm showing you this part on my left hand because it's easier with my camera set up. But once you have all the tape removed, then you're just going to want to clean up any excess polish around the edges and finish with the top coat. So here's the finished design, and like I mentioned at the beginning, I like this one a lot more than the reverse chevron design, and I hope you guys do too, although if you liked the other one, that's really perfectly fine. I mean, everybody has their own sense of style, and the world would be pretty boring if everyone liked the exact same stuff. Um, as I mentioned also with the tape, you know, it's up to your personal preference, and certain types of tape seem to work better for certain types of designs, but the scotch tape really worked just fine for this. Um, let me just try 
if I'm in it with a darker background, I think the colors might show up a little bit better or different, but they're really kind of vibrant, jewel-toned, blue, green, and purple, so, and I actually got these on clearance not that long ago, so if you're interested in these, you may want to see if your Sally's also still has them in stock, but let me know what you think of this design down in the comments, and as always, thanks for watching.